Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how to check the strength of a password using Java. So let's get right into it. In our main method, we have a string and it's called user password. We've got a bunch of stuff in here. And then we're going to do system.out.println, password strength, and user password. This tutorial is not going to teach you how to get user input, only how to check the strength of the password. If you want to know how to get user input using Java, click the eye up in the corner. It will work perfectly with this tutorial. So, what do we mean by password strength? Well, basically, we're going to take a bunch of criteria, including the length. Does it have lowercase, uppercase, numbers, and special characters? And we're going to basically give points for each one of those criteria the password meets. Because you know when you type in, like, you type in a password and it's like, oh, this password is weak, or this password is strong, or this password is moderate strength when you write the whole Harry Potter series down as your password. That type of thing. And we're just going to make one of those. So let's get right into it. So let's define our function. We do public static int password strength string password. So we are going to return an integer, which is going to be the score. The higher, the better. And then I'm going to let you guys decide what you want to do with those points. And obviously you can customize how points are given out. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to call the function password strength because we're measuring the strength of the password. And string password is obviously the password we want to test or rate or evaluate. So firstly, we've got a, a couple of lines of code with a couple of if statements. Let's break it down. So int score is going to be the score. We're going to set it to zero. And then we're going to do int length equals password dot length. We want to get the length of the password because we want to do a bit of work on it. So we have got some length checks here and some range checks. Click the eye up in the corner if you want to know how to do a range check. But you don't need to watch it for this tutorial. But basically, basically we're going to do if length is greater than or equal to 8, and length is less than or equal to 10, we give them one point. So if the, if the password is between 8 and 10 characters long, we give them an extra point. However, if it's between 11 and 15, we will actually give them two points instead. And if it's greater than or equal to 16 characters long, we will give them three points. Longer passwords are better. It makes it harder for people who get a bunch of encrypted or hashed passwords to brute force their way through. It takes longer the longer the password. Obviously, complexity helps as well, but length does play a part, and we want to reward that. So, we give them a few extra points, and if the password is less than eight characters, they don't get any points. Obviously, you can customize this to whatever you want. So underneath our else if statement, length is greater than or equal to 16, we're going to just do another set of if statements. Now these are all individual ifs. We're going to go through this one by one. So we're going to do if password.matches, this beautiful string of characters, score plus plus. So this is going to be in the description below. All of these rejects patterns will be, so you can copy and paste them. But basically, this rejects is checking if at least one lowercase letter exists in the password. If it does, this is a true and therefore we get an extra point. We can do score plus plus. Then we're going to do the same again. If password.matches this beautiful string score plus plus. So this is going to check for an uppercase letter. If they have that, give them a point. Then we're going to do the same again, but we're going to be checking if there is a number. If there's a number, you get a point. Then we're going to do if there's a special character, which can be any of the characters here. If one of these exists, give them a point. Now, you're only going to get a point for having at least one of each of these. So let's say we have four lowercase a's. That gives them one point, not four points. After that, we do return score to return the score of the password to whatever we call the function. And... That's it for this tutorial. So we go up to the top of our code, we save our work, and we are going to do a password which matches all of the criteria. It's going to be greater than 16 characters long, going to have lowercase, uppercase, special characters, and numbers. We save our work and hit play. And we have a score of 7. Because we meet all the criteria. But what if we don't have a special character? What happens? Well, now it's 6. What if we have no uppercase characters? 
Now it's four. What if we have no letters? And we are now ten characters long, so we're only going to get one point for the length. And in the previous answer, we were be below 16, so we actually got two points for the length. But now, we are only going to have a score of two. But what if we cut down the amount of numbers to just be six characters long? Well, now we have a score of one. So... Thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Java tutorials. Thanks for watching.